Hello everybody and welcome to the video. So what we're here today is a Renson House of Lights American Industry ceiling fan. The ceiling fan I got at the group trip from uh, John Conley for eighty dollars, and um, I got this glass from him for free or a buck. I forgot because I got some glass from him for a buck and then got a lot of them for free. This light kit I got from Antique Brass Builders Best, uh, just like that um, custom fan I made. That one, that turtle fitter also came off an Antique Brass Builders Best because I had two of them. Um. Yeah, I wasn't, I was hoping I was going to get the other one because he got two of them. And so unfortunately, I didn't get the second one that because um, I think he did a little bit of work to that. Because I know that this is the one because it doesn't have the tarnish on the plate. And because um, it's a little bit tarnished, but he adjusted the trip hot very low. Add these chains, same thing comes with a down rod, so I converted it to ball and socket. Came with everything except the down rod. Well, yeah, switch cap is a little scratched up, so I just use the light kit to make it look better and hide that. Because the um, trim pot isn't really adjusted that well, and I was hoping to get the other one because it was adjusted way better. But, yeah, there's really nothing to show about this fan other than it's way too fast on uh, the lowest setting. The variable knob is adjusted to the lowest setting, and... This is the uh, slowest it goes. It speeds up way too fast. As you can see, so I'm going to try to adjust that. Because look, this is like a medium. But, anywho. Renton House of Lights was a company out of Missouri. And if I didn't show the tag. Oh, uh, there is the tag. So, Yeah. This was um, their answer to the cast milk Zephyr because, you know, they used K63, but that's when the Zephyrs were actually pretty good. But then they um, changed over to the terrible Slumber Quiet, and, this, and then after Raiden 5, they made them Teletouch. So, this was their answer to the cast milk of Zephyr. That's why they made this. So, that's high... I think it was like a medium, well, like a high-ish speed because of the variable speed. So this is basically a high speed. I can't get anything, um, like, lower because the trim pot needs to be adjusted. But here's its canopy that it came with. It's like a cast milk bell, basically. Don't know too much about these fans. It's my first Renton House of Lights. Well, any American industry fans, so. Get it up to turn to high. Here's high. Wobbles a little bit, but it does an amazing job. And I put LEDs in here, so I thought it looked pretty nice like that. So that's what I did. Even push in the Regency. This is the fifth one I have. I got that at the 2021 group trip. It's blowing an amazing breeze. Pushing it pretty fast, if you ask me. Anywho, we can turn the light. Here's the light. And we will go to low. Go well, off. But I'm going to set the control back to low. Because it's, yeah, it's not like one of the cast of block impulsions. I think you can wire it that way to make it go, you know, four way. Like, um,. A fan on with no light, light on with no fan, fan and light on, and then off. I think you can make it, like, go that way, but I'm not very sure. So I just have it this way right now. For the time being, so. Yeah.
Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys later, and goodbye.